All right, so we're on this job today. Uh, what this uh, homeowner wants is they want a privacy fence in, come from here. Uh, basically, I already have one hole dug to try to get my uh, shape here. Uh, what they've got though, is they've got this electric meter. Let's see, where is it? Yeah, right there. And that comes down, that wire comes down right around here. It just comes down right in this area. So I have to be very careful on these. So I went ahead and drilled a hole here to, to see uh, what the ground was like and stuff. And I'll have to put another one up here on this and then this will be a privacy fence. And then along the string line uh, will be a privacy fence also. And that's to shield against uh, this area here. So, you know, when you're doing these, when you dig, anytime you dig, you want to make sure you call that uh, 811 number or whatever it is in your where your locality is. And they'll come out here and they'll mark uh, the lines on it. Uh, but this was uh, kind of aftermarket done, elect electrical stuff. So some of the stuff, uh, anyway, we're just doing the best we can. Now this here is a garden. It's a little bit out of shape because of the winter and things like that. But anyway, so we're going to come across here. Going to come across this way. And by doing, I was drilling back here, and there's a sprinkler system here, but we didn't know there was a. Anyway, he wasn't here, so it hit a water line. So I'm gonna have to fix that. So that's the thing too, when you're doing these jobs, sometimes that could cause more problems than the whole job's worth. So I think I'll just be able to cap this. It's no big deal, and we'll be able to move on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten up this. Uh, line over here to this I'm digging in a post here and then make this corner right here and then come on in straight down towards uh, the end of this building right here the end of this building right there this blue one so all right we'll keep you posted So I'm back out on this job. This was on the fence project, which uh, person wanted. They wanted an L-shaped fence. Again, here we go. Pretty good down that way. Okay, so we got that. I'm gonna have to come in here now. When you get a gap like this inside here, what I normally do is I set up. I set up a board like this right over it, just like this. And then what I'll do is I'll come back from the back side and I'll trace it. And then I'll know, then I'll come back and rip it with a saw, with a rip saw, with a table saw. And then that way it'll fit in there and look just perfect. Now sometimes I have there's remnant boards in here that you can use and it'll match up. So right now I'm just finishing up. I'm nailing it up. I've got one and a half inch uh, screw uh, nails on this. I've got screws in the in the backboard here, screws in this board, then nails in this other board. All right. All right. So if you ever get the opportunity to get you one of these, it's a nail gun. This is a roofing type nail gun with the, it has coil nails in it. These nails come in a big old box like this. Okay. And you look, they come in this, this, what they call, that's why they call it a coil. It sits on here like this. Now, when you want to load it, you put it inside here, the coil in here, you line it up. Just like a machine gun, close this thing, make sure you latch it. This plastic thing falls over it, and then you lock this down there. Make sure that this piece right here is locked in now over that. 
Now also, when you operate this, it's not a typical gun. You don't pull the trigger and nothing happens on this. When you're gonna use it, you pull the trigger and then you press in on the front button on it and that button makes it shoot. Now there's also an adjustment on here. So if you can do one or two nails at a time, so it'll do a multiple thing. So here, I'm gonna demonstrate it for you here real quick. So I've got my trigger pulled here already. It's not a big trigger pulled, okay? It's just pressure back on it. And then I'm gonna take it and I just hit it. And I hit again. And you just go right on down the line, just like this. And it's fast. So when I'm putting these pickets up, okay, to begin with, I just put one nail on the top and one nail on the bottom, and then I just come back and finish it up. All right, so we came along here. As you remember before, we had uh, the tops of the post here. So I marked it on each one i basically took my lowest one and then i made them all match that so each one of these anyway now i want to talk to you about this shim here now what we're working down on this here down on the ground is rock and so you may have your bit there or whatever it might be you think it's in the right spot uh but when it starts to drill and everything like that, and once you get your post set, you, that's why you when you run your string and stuff. And so I've got a couple of these little shims in here just so the outer edge of the fence uh, is, is flush and it looks flat. See, I've got one more set here and one more set there and the rest of them, the other eight posts are all right. But they're just times that just can't be avoided. Uh, we, don't, we don't really wanna try to keep doing that, but uh, you know, sometimes things happen. Okay, so what I did is I ripped this board down here. If you remember, I had that gap. I set the other board on there and basically traced the back side of it. And then I was able to trim it in there. And I went ahead and cut a little dog leg extra on there. Just to kind of make it look uniform there on that. Got all the tops cut off. On this all the way down. Well, if you got this far in the video, thanks a lot for hanging in there. Uh, you know, I just trying to do the best I can to explain this uh, fencing job and and uh, give a little pointers here and stuff. Now, some of the nails and stuff are, you know, you can use whatever you want. Obviously, you can use screws. Some people don't like nails. They like screws. Some people like screws. Now, if I'm doing it by myself, I'm just trying to be able to get that on there as well as possible. So every job that you do, okay, is a reflection upon yourself. So if you run into those craftsmen that are out there and they just don't do a good job and they're just in it for the money, uh, you know, put up, you know, that says something to you guys. If you're one of those, then uh, I'm talking to you. So, you know, put a product, a product out there that you can be proud of that uh, is a reflection of you and what you do and what you stand for. Have a good day.